me. And most welcome guests. Today we're going to talk about words. I feel your pain, Mio. <laughs> English is a very difficult language and some of us make it more difficult for you than we need to. So today we're going to talk about how words count, why they count, and how to count words. <laughs> now, I want you to all think back, particularly you, Mio, because this would be a total mind blower for you. Remember the first time you heard someone use the expression, my bad? <laughs> I happen to have been the art counter-grammarian at a Toastmaster meeting, and I happen to take that job very, very seriously. A young man was telling his story when he slapped in the expression, my bad. <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever heard it, and I felt like I had been stabbed in the ears and oh, the heart while Chalk was running up and down on a blackboard. <laughs> she doesn't like that. <laughs> All I could think was... That's not English. That's not English. Words count. Needless to say, when I reviewed him at the end of the meeting, I gave him plenty. And I was tenacious about it. I'll have you know. When you're very little in America and in Australia, you hear mothers say to their children all the time, use your words. Use your words when children are squabbling. What they really mean is until you're five years old. After that, they mean select your words. Don't use just any old words. Select your words. Our job, being storytellers and Toastmasters, is to paint beautiful visual pictures with words to transport people to faraway places, to tap their imaginations. And the minute we jar them back into reality by using words like, my bad, or where's she at? <laughs> All of a sudden, we have lost the connection with our audience. They are no longer on a journey with us. They are sitting, like me, in tenacious judgment on where we were raised and by which wolf. <laughs> now, most of you have been Toastmasters. Has anyone not been the Toastmaster for a meeting? We have a house full of Toastmasters. <laughs> you know, you're right close to the meeting and everything's fallen into place and you've got your backup speakers lined up, everyone is lined up, you're ready to go and you're going to be the Toastmaster that brings the meeting in on time, every time <laughs> and then Mary sends you the introduction for a speech it's about 800 words <laughs> the introduction. her speech is 5 to 7 minutes <laughs> What we all need to know, this is just a little repeat lesson. An introduction should be four or five lines. Right. Mio's introduction was perfection. She told us what she was going to speak about, what manual it was from, what objective it was, and then she set the stage with a cute little opening to get us interested. Craig Valentine says, to be a great speaker, you must be a great tease. Last two speeches Mio has given, the introduction has tantalized us into wanting to know what the speech was about. And of course, because she's very clever, she did a bait and switch, and we didn't know where the speech was going, which was genius. So just to repeat for you, those of you that are not clear, we do not want your life story, you have four or five lines. <laughs> Done. Got it? Now, the next thing is, and I know you've all encountered this, 
someone comes up to the lectern and they are carrying this many papers and you know they're going to get through them no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Words count, so count them. This is not magic, it is math. We speak at 120 words a minute. If we don't and we speak slower, we are boring our audiences to death. <laughs> if we speak faster, we are probably used car salesmen and no one can hear a word you're saying. <laughs> Therefore, type your speech in Word. Go to Word Count. Pull down. It will tell you exactly how many words you need. Now, 120 by 7 is 860. Don't give that speech. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you will steal yourself and rob your audiences of the pregnant pauses, mm. the meaningful glances, and the hilarious laughter that is bound to bounce back at you. <laughs> Maybe not from you. <laughs> <laughs> it is wise to write a 600 line word speech. This speech here is 599 words. For those of you that don't know what that looks like, and I could name names, that's what it looks like. An introduction should be 64 words. That's what it looks like. It looks like, oh, I don't know, four or five lines. What have we learned here today, girls and boys? And I know this is remedial for most of you, but I wouldn't be giving this speech if a lot of people at this club had not tenaciously <laughs> broken the rules. Don't use any old riff-raff word. Select your words. We have learnt that words count. Our job is to count them. Madam Toastmaster. Thank you.